Make sure that's all set. There we go. Good. Game's crashing. Nah, it's alright. What is going on with this lady in that loading screen? Where were her legs? Are they there? I have arrived. I wish you could like customize what that says when you join. Hold on, let me move my microphone. This stuff is in the way. How's that? Can turn the music down a little bit, maybe. So here's the the fort. You can get a better view from the front, really. Ah. Get some food. So that was the original building. Then we added all this yesterday. It's like the forge, the forge room, the forge house. It's where the forge lives. See? Been everything in there. You can actually bring these wagons inside, these uh, carts. So I'm using it as like storage. Before I sort it all out. So this is the project I've been working on. This is the road. The road goes all the way from here in the proto base. To here. To over here. And then eventually I wanted to connect with the dark forest so we can get like Resources and all that shit easier. Been a pain in the ass. That was a troll head. That was a troll man. So this is the road. This is all woods. I built like a road through it. And then I started carving through this part. Just to make it a little easier to get the cart through. Yep, just because with the cart, it bounces around all over the place. So I kind of left off over here earlier. Just clearing through. Clearing the land. And then I think it's going to branch off into two parts. This road will go this way towards the mountain. This is all clear, I think. For later in the game. Actually, we need to bring that down. a little bumpy. It needs some finessing, but finessing, rather. Finessing. No, I still haven't found the merchant. I don't know if he's on this island or not. Apparently, they're in the dark forests. So he could be here. I've explored most of it, though. Or maybe over here? There's a huge chunk I haven't even looked through yet. Some fine acid. But then I cleared all this out. Like, I chopped all the trees down.
You just gotta make the road itself. It won't be stone, it's a dirt road. And then there's the dark forests. Instead of having to schlep through this fucking bullshit over here, it'll be way easier. Just kind of kick these trees out of the way for now. This beach. Out of the way. I kind of like the way that looks, though. This is one way to break the logs up. I don't know. Maybe. I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. Yeah, you can just move this shit around. It's awesome. You could like, uh, yeah, just push it. It'll even go down to the water and like float away. The physics of everything is pretty satisfying. Yeah, get all that shit out of the way. I'm gonna get this stump in this. Oh! See how the blood just like squirts out if you get hit in the head? It's like some Looney Tune shit. Reminds you of SimCity 4. Music. I don't. I never really played SimCity 4, honestly. I don't think I even played SimCity 3. Which one was SimCity 3? When was SimCity 2? 2000? That was SimCity 2. SimCity 2 was 2000. Get this fucking rock out of here. Um. I barely remember three, now that I think about it. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, that's a weird little bug with OBS lately, where if I don't, um... If I don't click on the main window, my taskbar shows up. Or I have to cross out. Let's say close. No, that's not it. Hold on. But um, boom, boom. OBS doesn't really like the way I capture stuff right now. For some reason. I don't know what its fucking problem is. Hold on. I 
I always kind of worry about going idle for a second in this game. Something like fucking runs up on me. You know what I mean? Hold up. Is that these two OBSs between the two computers? Whatever, I think that's fun. Which like makes like a third virtual monitor. Kind of stupid. And then that's the capture, is that third monitor. Whoa. And then I just make a preview window of whatever I'm playing. And that's what's being sent over to the other OBS. Like magic. And deal with the rest of those logs later. Hmm. <laughs> I fucking hate trying to get these stumps. There we go. See, for the road to work, you can't have like a bunch of tree stumps just like chilling in it. I wish there was an easier way to get them all out. There we go. I mean, that's mostly done. We just gotta hoe through it. I like how he just like rolled up and then changed his mind. Oh, I have no food. I have berries. I need to go eat. I don't know if this will just fall and just hit it. I think there is a house here. And if you want to get really crazy with it, you could make a wooden road. I was thinking about it. If you just made like a workbench, fitted it with wood and then just moved. Nah, there's no underground caves. I wish there were. It'd be sick. <clears throat> if you could, like, dig into hell or something. That would be amazing. Or even like make some kind of like primitive bomb. Just blow up a bunch of shit. There we go. I think there might be some sea monsters. I'm not sure. I may find out. 
That's my next objective. That's why I'm building this road, essentially, is to make the boat. Or so we can make it a little easier, at least. <clears throat> Alright. That's about where I want it. Just gotta flatten this out. I don't really know exactly how to use this. I've got like no stamina right now either. But yeah, I guess that's kind of what I want to do. Take this down a little bit. Get that out of the way. They were well-groomed, the Vikings. According to who? Says who? I mean, I, I believe it, though. I would assume the only, like, really dirty, dirty people were, like, the people living in, like, huge cities. But look at this. It's a little bumpy. We got to flatten it out a little bit. Maybe even widen it. Ooh, I don't like that. Hold up. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, it needs to be widened, but it's not bad. out. Let's open it up a bit. Probably should have started from the bottom. Let's make it a little easier to get through here. Cart canal. Perfect. She needs to be flattened out again. Perfect. A little bumpy, a little bit better though. Oh yeah, that's for walking. This needs to be widened too. We'll get to that though. How much does this have in it? A decent amount. Let's take her home. Whee! It's really satisfying to have like built that entire road though. Feels good. Lonely dra Dragonaut. Thank you for that resub. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate it very much. Have you ever played Worm before? Oh, well, um, I've watched a little bit. Never really played it though. Worm. Oh, Worm. Yeah, the actual need for, like, little expansion buildings is nice. So, I don't know who built this, but this is cool. Someone made, like, a little chair for me. I swear to God, I came here a few hours ago, and this was not here. I built this little deck, but not the roof and the chair and shit. 
Ba -da -da, ba -ba. Um, what do you want? Dude, the rain is pretty immersive. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. I wish I could see through this wall and see where the walkway is so I can make a doorway. To the second floor. I'm kind of feeling that. I read it occasionally. Yeah, we can make it like right here. Right? No, that doesn't really work. That don't work. It could be a window. I didn't make a really good setup here for an additional walkway. Do this. No, this doesn't really work. Well, actually, it might. Actually, actually, actually. There we go. <laughs> now I just gotta wait, make this not look stupid. Um, I got an idea. Sometimes when you like misclick in this game, you fucking break something else by accident. The combat's pretty fun, honestly. It's like not gonna blow your mind, but it's all right. It's like Risk of Rain tier combat, I guess. I keep comparing it to Risk of Rain, but I feel like it's a good comparison. A lot of the stuff in this game. Ah! Got there's a room there. I mean, it's not as deep as Risk of Rain, but I would say it's like, it feels like that to me. There's no like good abilities really, but feels like Risk of Rain for some reason. Does anyone else feel that? Ooh. 
Whose bed is this? Damn it. I don't want to wreck Sphinx's bed. Boom. Maybe I'll get on in a bit. I guess you could, like, put this, like... Man, yeah, that doesn't really work. Well, for now. This area is a little broken, but we'll fix it. That's the idea. You know what I'm saying? Any magic? There's abilities? I'm not sure about magic. Yeah, we're only in the second boss. It's way more about the building and stuff like that, I'm gonna say. And like exploring. There's dungeons, basically, you have to go through. Oh, you stay away from my bees, man. Oh! I forgot I had like no health. Oh no. Just fucking evaporated. It's like psst. nothing was left. Hey. Leave those bees alone. The bees are sleeping. Look at this, someone made this last night. Hey. Cole made this little lighthouse on that rock over there, isn't that neat? I really like the weather effects, though. Hey! The fuck? These guys are pricks. I gotta remember to bring the cart inside. It's all fucked up. How do you repair the the cart? I don't understand. Like, do you need to upgrade the ah the hammer or something like that? That thing's about to explode. Need some food. Might as well take all this. Keep seeing that troll hut, it's like Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure how you repair. I feel like something you need to build, maybe? Huh. Yeah, this is what I want to build next. I carve. Repair at the top left. Let's see it. 
Boom. Down. Of the build window? Whoa. Oh, it actually worked. It was not working before, I swear. Maybe you have to hold shift. It must be shift. All right, let's get these cards emptied. This is just all normal wood. Damn. Stone. Probably gonna need all of this. And soon. This is kind of random shit. We had a bunch of core wood. Maybe not. Okay. I'm just going to leave that for now. Oops. I'm going to grab my flint arrows because if we're going to the dark forests, that's pretty much the only way I can fight the trolls is with the arrows. But up. Um. We're gonna need to get some food. At some point. Ah. Now let's go. The icon looks the hammer itself is repair. I swear to God, I have not seen that. More Valheim. All right. On the road. So, yeah, that's our objective. Getting up there on the road. Find some copper. And start the mining situation. Then get that boat set up. I also really want to check over here. This whole fucking crest. Crescent area. It looks like a dragon, actually. And, um... Maybe the trader will be over there? Yeah, we got a nice little road build here. It's coming along. How much? Ooh, 20 damage? Yeah, we gotta widen that. Oh my god. The poor cart, you saw it degrade before my eyes. Yeah, we can improve that. No, not yet. Yeah, that could be a speed limit problem. I have not done that yet. I'm gonna widen this. This doesn't need to be here. all up. Oh, that rock almost fell on me. Hey! The fuck out of here. Actually kind of low on resin, so I gotta kill those guys when I see them. We're pretty much just low on everything at this point.
Ba da da Traders, take a ship across the shores of Black Forest because the trader will pop up on your map if you're somewhat remotely close. It'll just pop up on your map when you see him. So if you like got close and didn't see him somehow, you it would show up on your map no matter what. Yeah, I saw people saying it's pretty rare for him to be on your starting island, but it does happen. So with everything else that's been on this starting island, it might be here. You never know. You never know. Mountain range, huh? That sounds pretty wild. All right, let's level this out. Cannot eat more cooked meat. Please. Oh, fuck off. It'll pop up as a bag icon. Huh. Well, no shit. Hey, you know who's uh, speaking at a school near me apparently soon is, um, I don't know why they're doing this, but uh, the lady from Long Island Medium. Has anyone ever watched that? I know someone said they liked her. We were talking about this recently. I don't want to shit on her, but what is up with her hair? She looks like she's like a cult leader, like a vampire cult leader. Has anyone ever seen this lady? You know what I'm talking about? Long Island Charlatan. Teresa? No, no, no. That's that's the housewife lady. Yeah, they should make a real housewife of of uh meet Yeah, let me look her up real quick. Hold on. Real housewives of Long Island, and they're all just like ghost mediums. Therese, is it? Long Island Ghost Lady. Long Island Ghost Lady. I saw her on TV the other day and I was like, who the fuck is that? No, her hair looks more insane right now than that. Who the fuck is this lady's name? Long Island Medium. But, um... Yeah, dude, look at this hair. It's like... I don't know why I thought it reminded me of a vampire. It kind of reminds me of a vampire. It looks like someone put a helmet on, but it's made out of hair. You know what I mean? Like, you could go f fly an airplane, like you put that helmet on. There's like a visor. Like, her bangs are the visor that slides down. You know what I mean? It's like a Tarkov helmet. That's the visor part that protects your eyes. But she talks to ghosts. It reminds me of like a helmet you'd find in like an MMO or something. 
I'm gonna get this rock out of here. How much armor does that give? How much hairspray do you think that takes? Punch this fucker. Bum, bum. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool, but it looks like a helmet. Just saying, I like helmets. I see the merit, but it still looks like a helmet. Like she, you know, like she's going to go pilot an X-Wing or something like that. Elvira hair, you're right. That's what it is. I do love Elvira, I got to say. I was talking to my mom about this a few days ago for some reason. We were talking about hair. And I was asking her about the beehive hairdo. If she remembers people having that when she was a kid. And it seems like every 20 years we have like a big hair resurgence. You know what I mean? The 80s. And then and the bees, the beehive in the 60s or the 50s or whatever the fuck it was. When was that? Beehive was like the 50s, I guess. Could have been the 60s, too. And now the mullet is back and then whatever that is, like, you, you know, Star Wars helmet hair. Big hair. Once everyone's, you know, out of quarantine, done with the pandemic, everyone's going to be wanting to attract a mate, so they're all going to don this big, giant hair. It's true. It's science. The proven thing. <laughs> Dude, I've seen like at least six people with mullets. Hear me out. I've seen a couple YouTubers and a couple people in real life. Don the mullet ways again. I think it's coming back. Everything old is new again. At home haircuts. Yeah, the accidental mullet. Uh, what the fuck is it called? What's the haircut thing? Why can't I think of the name? It was like a infomercial vacuum haircut all in one device. George Clooney swears by it. Why can't I remember the name of it? They're now they're like four hundred dollars on eBay right now. The Floby. Thank you. Everyone wants a Floby now. They're back. I'm not even kidding. Go on eBay and look up Floby. They're up to like $200. So it's like a buzzer that sucks the hair up as you cut your hair. So if you're stuck at home and you don't want long hair, there you go.
I mean, they never really went away. They just kind of were resting for a long time. Yeah, it's coming together. I like it. Let's go. Would you take this road? Says <laughs> I hit like major potholes. Even though um, war was fought here recently. It's the parking lot behind your local Walmart. Just buckle up. Yeah, we gotta flatten this bitch out. The hoe breaks so easy. Elevator, yeah, definitely in Terraria. Never really played enough Terraria, but I know what you mean. This year was like the first year I ever really played Terraria, actually. It's quite a thing. Flatten this out a little bit though. Put that stand back. Ba -da -da -da. In on what? There we go. Terraria? Why is there like another update coming out or something? Hey, I saw today that all the Stardew uh, new content 1.5 is on all consoles and Switch and stuff again. You know, it's been like a month or two since that came out. I don't know if I can get back into Stardew either, though. All right, we're getting there. I gotta flatten this out a little bit. Oh, and the hoe broke. Hoe's mad. We may as well go back for the night. Did this fire just go out? The fuck? What the hell? It's a little shack I built or took over. I really can't take much more. Good. I figure it'll be good to have like a couple of little houses on the road. So if people need to stop and do something, they can. Like have some things you see on the road, right? Maybe put some fences up. Maybe put some core wood down. Oh, look at that moon. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Taxes at work. This is uh, the new deal, man. I'm just digging holes. 
I need a job. Let me go dig a hole. I do need uh, to kill the second boss again, I think. Get more of those keys. Is there any reason to kill the first boss again to get the horns for the pick? Like, is there anything else you can build with those horns? I heard, I heard something. See, it's a nice little stroll back to the house. Right? I left all my gold on Vinny's server by accident. I had like 800 gold with me. I brought it with me in case we found like a traitor somehow. You don't use up the key when you open the crypts. Oh, you just like need to have it. It's just like a one multiple use thing. Let's go sleep. So now, I fix my shit. I do want to finish this road. I feel like I'm so close. I get a little bit more done each day. It's gonna be worth it though. Repaired hoe. You don't even know. How close you were to dying a second earlier. Yeah, mounts would be awesome. I agree. Like some Princess Mononoke, like, um, elk mount. What did he ride in Princess Mononoke? That thing was awesome. Doesn't what uh What's his name? Thongrel. Thangrel. The elven high king in the Hobbit, doesn't he ride a steer? The red elk, yeah, that was awesome. That elk was awesome. Was that just like a Princess Mononoke, like, Japanese mythology thing? Or do people actually, like, ever tame red deer and ride them? That's just, that's just a, a silly thing, right? It's out of the way. cart station. No! I thought it was going. Thought it was going over. Yeah, I suppose. What about Santa, though? Maybe it's possible.
maybe it's possible. Actually, it looks pretty good. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we're building a big uh, desert or highway. <laughs> I read your name and just became dyslexic for a second. Developing some highway, real estate, some commercial. Development. Ba -da -da. Yeah, we could race on it afterwards. This is a potential rest stop right here. It'd be a restaurant called the Log Cabin. These people don't even know how much their land's worth. make a cracker barrel right there. There'd be people getting sick in that that bathroom on road trips for many years to come. I've actually never eaten at a cracker barrel. Have any of you? What do you think about cracker barrel? I'm told they have cheese and crackers for free. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's good for her. I gotta say, Gorilla Glue is on point with their commercial game. Have you guys seen those commercials with the gorilla? And he just like beats people up and shit. Now that's television. They got pancakes there? I'm go for a pancake. You know what I really like now? Not putting syrup on a pancake and just like a slice of butter. And then you just eat it like a little burrito. Life changing. Especially now that I have like beard and shit. If you have any facial hair, anytime you eat syrup, it's just in it. You can't win. I think a crepe is like more uh, flat, right? Crispier. I can just repair this here, can I? Very nice. Oh, fuck up. Major lag. Major leg. <clears throat> I 
I haven't had a lot of creps in my life. Maybe a few. Maybe just a few. Who's that? Like a wave or a tree falling? Oh. Probably that. Out of the way. Perfect. You can see the ocean now. The whole plan is coming together. Make like a mining outpost too, I guess. Just dump everything in here. He's going to go that way. Oh. It was a 50-50 chance. Oh, you're back? Give me another shot. Damn it. They're just mocking me now. I think I'm being mocked. Really? Oof. There we go. We're here. Now hopefully there's a bunch of copper like right at the entrance. Yeah, the music in this game is amazing. Although I'm starting to get a little tiny bit bored of it. Ah, hose broke. I was mad. I might as well break some of these rocks up. Glad this game doesn't have an uh, eco stamina system where doing literally and depletes your hunger rapidly. Yeah, the hunger is pretty quickly depleting, but I think it just happens no matter what. I'm not sure, though. In this game. It's time-based. Depending on the food, yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, I hate that. I hate when I'm like clicking on the rocks and I go too many too many clicks, man. 
And I break the ground by accident. Too many clicks. Mouse over your food, you can see this, the durations of it. Is it in your inventory though, or? Uh, oh yeah, okay, I see. I've seen it before, I just never thought about it. Kinda reminds me of Tarkov, actually. There we go. Alright, let's get this fucking road going. Hey, what's up, John? How you doing, dude? You doing well today? What do you think of the building in this game? I think it's pretty satisfying. I mean, it doesn't seem super complicated at first, but the more time you spend with it, the more thorough you can get, the more things you can get out of it. Like, you could actually make a circle with wood if you layer it the right way. You know what I mean? So, if you get creative enough. I haven't looked at a lot of other people's designs yet, but I feel like there's probably a lot of different houses. Oh. Yeah, I'm just making a road from my main base. To this dark wood area so I can like get copper easier how come the elder isn't marked out now if we killed it yesterday shouldn't it be X'd out but does it only get X'd out if that means you can't like do it again right now Yeah, I want to make, like, a long house. Like a long... Like it looks like a boat, kind of. That would be sick. We could make a road to the beach, but... I don't know what I would put down there. We can make a little... Actually... If we do do the boat, it might make sense to have a little dock here for the boat to pick up, like, copper maybe occasionally. I know there's something on the mountain you need that you can't teleport to. Guess we'll see. A jetty? A jetty for my dinghy. Sounds good. I'll never forget learning the word dinghy in like fifth grade in vocab class. It was like immediately everyone was like, dinghy? What? I've never heard anyone say, yeah, get in the dinghy. Oh, that rock almost killed me. Oh, here we are at the edge of the forest. That fog is amazing. All of a sudden, you can't even see what's behind you. You turn around. Yeah, I hope they do like a like a British Isles expansion to this game eventually, where you like have to do like um, some stuff in like Avalon or like some Lady of the Lake shit. You have to fight like the Green Knight. Because I feel like with the Norman invasion of England and all that shit. 
That kind of goes along with the Vikings, right? Isn't that just pretty much all hand in hand with Norse mythology? More or less. It'd be so cool to see like a Norman Conquest DLC. You have to like... Sack a... I don't know, like a convent or something like that. I mean, kind of pillaging is part of the whole thing. As far as my understanding of the Viking lands. I'm down here. And this is where the road stops for now, I guess. We have a little bit more work to do. But essentially, that's it. We could take the cart all the way there now. Oh my god, there's boars everywhere. I understand. I like, uh, like the story, like, what is it, Eric the Red? Is the one that went to America, I think, before anyone else. Except, like, that, like, Chinese admiral with the treasure fleet they think may have, like, took Chinese junk ships to California at one point in the past. But they think Eric the Red, like, landed in... In, like, Maine or something, did he? Zhang He. And then there's all these, like, history channel conspiracy shows about, like, you know. Did the Vikings establish a civilization in Wisconsin? I think that's what that Oak Island show is about, too. Spooky out here. I saw the masked, uh, or the robed stranger before, too. I was just walking down the road. Oh, what are you doing? And the dude is just standing there in the background. Has anyone else seen him yet? He was standing, like, right here. And I was, like, way over here. And if you get too close, he just disappears. Where's my house? Thick fog. You may have had him appear and you didn't even realize it. You have to kind of be just happening to look at where he is or whatever. Just so happened. You can't really see it that well at night, huh? Oh yeah, I fucked up the stairs. Yeah, I mean, those channels have to, like, change, though, depending on, like, what the ratings are, I guess. <clears throat> like, all that some people watch is the cooking shows and, like, fix my house for $10 million shows, you know what I mean? Like, 
the home improvement shows where it's like some family. They're like, well, our budget's $2 million. We have to make a room for our new kid. It's like shit like that always. That's all I see on TLC. Should we should we buy the diamond marble floor? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I need eight health. Now, let me put this all away. Pick repaired. An emergency fire extinguisher window. Yeah, it's been working out like that. It's been working out. All right, so today is the day I think the boat is going to happen. Today is the day. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, we're just going to throw out our old house and get a new one. We just woke up today feeling wacky. It's always like something like that. Or Animal Planet is just Bigfoot now. Which I am not going to complain about. I think that's awesome, but it's kind of funny. Finding Bigfoot. The official Finding Bigfoot channel. Yeah, I love this game. Trenchism. It's engaging, relaxing. Feel like you're getting something done. <laughs> Cute animal videos you just find on YouTube. Just like Twitter drip feeds now. Like that dodo account and stuff. Hey. Nah, you can live. Mm. The chain reaction is awesome. I love it. What happened to my cart? Didn't I have another cart over here? Yo, did something break my fucking cart? No, it's still there. A little beat up, though. Hey. Yeah, let's go get the things. Travel Channel is just ghost hunting now. And again, I don't mind that. I think it's... I like watching that shit. Whenever I go on a trip and I'm staying in a hotel, I'm watching ghost hunting shows and practical... Impractical Prankers. That's all that's on TV, it seems like, on those channels. And they're both just fucking brain-milting television, but I... I enjoy it. Dude, Impractical Jokers is so fucking stupid. There was a time over the summer, though, like that, that that was keeping me going for a day or two. I just indulged in the YouTube algorithm of uh, it just kept giving me Family Guy and Impractical Jokers. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to turn my brain off and watch this dumb shit for a minute. I know it's not funny, but my brain doesn't know that. Implying we're two different people. Did I show some of you guys, like, the those YouTube uh, Family Guy channels that, like, they break up, you know, the, the video with commercial breaks. 
And there's this one weird one that breaks up the Family Guy episodes with, like, toy review SEO shit. Like, all of a sudden, it turns from Family Guy into this guy opening a toy. Like a Thomas the Tank Engine toy. But there's, like, this really fucking weird music playing in the background. It's spooky. I'm going to have to show you what I'm talking about now. Oh. It's like a neural network produced fucking Family Guy video. And they get banned every fucking day, I'm sure. So they just like fucking shoot these guys out. Need some water. I need some water. This isn't exactly what I want this to look like, but I'm going to make it work. I should probably just go in now and look for the copper and see how far away we are. Where the copper at? Is this copper? No. Just rocks. <gasps> My god. Speaking of Animal Planet. Here he comes. You know there's someone frothing at the bit that there's not Steam support for this game so they can make like an anatomically correct troll. So when he does this shit, you get like hit in the face with like a dong. Ah! Fall back. No, I'm not my cart. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I mean, you've seen the boys, right? There's that one guy. Hey, that was Amazon produced television. I could talk about it. Shit, they probably encourage it. All right, let's find the copper. Find the kappa. <laughs> Your troll husbando fancies. I hate how I can't really see that well in the dark forest because of all the fucking trees. I don't want to just like go first person. Red dwarf. Da 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 da. I didn't watch any of the new Tick. Honestly, I was never a big Tick fan. Even when I was a kid. When the actual show had aired, for some reason it never clicked with me. It never ticked with me. Whenever I saw the Tick, I was like, oh, why isn't it th this show instead? I can appreciate it, but...
Where is all the stuff? I was gonna try to sneak up on him. Really? There's just like no copper. There's some. No. It all looks like it, but it isn't. Oh, there's some, I think. I think we were digging at it over here the other day. There is actually a cartoon for Bad Ben, and it's disgusting. I don't know what's wrong with, with Tom. He pretends to be wholesome, and then he makes shit like that. I don't know, man. Is there really? Yeah, look it up. It's on Amazon Prime. He has sex with, like, a witch in it. A demon witch. And they show it. It's fucking weird. I thought this was copper, for sure. Little hut here. Oh, there's some trees knocked over, so someone was here. Somebody. Man, not having any luck. Is that it? No. And running out of food, too. Oh, that is some copper. Well, here we go. Because I don't hit it. What's up, Gamma? How you doing? You could eat another bite. Mushroom. Hey! I love how they just throw, like, show up and start throwing rocks at you. The world feels so alive. You want some? The thing is, too, can you, like, maybe it's buried beneath the ground sometimes, and you don't even know if it's copper or not? I wonder if that's possible. Cause this isn't super obvious right here. Oh. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's never completely visible. Or ever is, rather. Only ever seen it on the surface. Hmm. Four, that's it. To hear that just knocked my sound out. It was so loud. 
Yeah, it has like chunks of green, but so does a lot of the other like just normal rocks around. I guess that's why it throws me off sometimes. I guess that's it. No, a little bit more. A tad more. Looks like there's some right here too. Yeah. See how it blends in though? I guess that's already been chopped up though. Yeah, I'm using this software called Multiplicity to extend my desktop into my other computer. So, like, you could use one... See, there's more hidden underneath. So you can use one mouse for two computers. You know what I'm saying? And it also shares audio between them without any delay, which is really good for streaming uh, the dual PC setup. But for some reason, it cuts out occasionally like that. I have no idea why. Coincidentally, the people who make the software are Stardock, and people who make, like, you know, Sins of the Solar Empire and stuff. But, uh, probably, like, once an hour it does that, and I have to reset it real quick. Ow. It's still useful enough that I won't change it, though, you know, but annoying. Sometimes it doesn't do it all day. I don't know. Alright. We're on the hunt. I should start picking up thistle, too. This is good for sausages. Sausage. The way these rocks are right here kind of looks like... Bizarre. It was arranged, so... Yeah, no copper. Not very much. I need to drop off what I got. Here's some, right? Nope. Is that? Nah, that's just normal stone. False alarm. Da -da -da. Someone brought sausages from another server. Ba -da. So I have the ingredient for it now. For the uh, recipe. Once you pick it up. I think a few people have had them that I've taken them from. Otherwise, it's like the thistles for nothing so far in the game for me. Hey. Calm it down. I need to kind of farm those guys for the resin. I'm running a little low on that, too. Just a bit. Man, not a lot of copper in this forest, huh? Oh, is that some? Nope. I think we're getting close to snow too here. A little bit. I wonder if the snow area has copper in it. Man, looks like I thought this was copper. Nope. Oh, sir. Yeah, and it looks it does look a little sparkly, but everything looks sparkly in this game, I guess. I don't be running around too much longer anyways. Night here. Now we're back in the meadows? There's snow right here, too. Snow area.
You <laughs> found one vein of copper so far. Da -da -da -da. I fear my road was for no reason. It's still useful, but not as useful as I thought it would be. Shit. Plus. Have I been here? Yeah, we were here. We were here. I do have this other house out here. Maybe there's more copper near there. Uh-oh. Big gray dwarves. The big one. Okay. I'm just looking for stuff. Ooh, a chest. There's spawner over here? Where are you guys coming from? Little house. Well, I mean, we could still use all these trees and stuff, too. This is useful to have. Does copper generally come around more near water? Hey, hey. My stamina is so bad. Taking so long for it to come back. Yeah, just that's just ten, yeah. There ain't too much. too much. Nice. Try to remember those rocks are there. Run back to the cart and drop all this shit off. Who's this guy? Hold, traveler, and bear witness to my warning. Nah. No, I don't think I will.
Yeah, I'm still going for more copper. The copper! Streaks of brown, wouldn't that be iron? I thought that was uh, blue. Or is that iron in your poop? Is that blue? I forget. Oh. Check this guy's gonna kill me. Come kill me. Nothing there. I mean, we do need tin too, though. Pretty badly. You need both that and copper to make bronze, so. Where are these guys, huh? It's a lot of resin, at least. I don't think they even come in here. They do throw rocks, though. You bet you can't just, like, pour boiling oil on them or something. Look at that little group. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I wish my stamina regen wasn't so low. Ah. Definitely need to bounce now. Yeah, it's because it's night and I'm cold. Many debuffs. We got him. Well, at least we know there's no fucking copper down here. Hey. Yeah, they don't like fire at all. Well. I'm not cold now.
Yeah, it's just not a lot of every anything down here. The fucking wastelands. Troll cave. Pretty sure we cleared that one out though. What that deer making noise about? No, I haven't gone to the swamp yet. Well, a little bit, actually. I went to the swamp with Sonic in his world for a minute, and then I got poisoned and died, like, instantly. Poison is not a joke, huh? fuck was that? Did you see that? Was that a bird? It just disappeared into the ground? <gasps> Copper! Giant vein of copper! Yeah, the seagulls are funny. They just like disappear into the ground. Like most video games, it seems like they don't really super smart birds. Maybe that's just like real life, I don't know. Seagulls are not really that cool to me. Maybe they're just as dumb in the game as they are in real life. I'm just getting beat down. I mean, hypothetically in a video game, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Another little humble boat. Yeah, we haven't hit all this over here. Let's keep going that way. Keep an eye out for the shinies. I'm assuming there's way more that way. And there's snow up that way. I don't know. And carrot seeds. I wish there was more of those. It seems like the carrots are pretty useful. I barely find any seeds for them. Bad luck. This isn't copper, is it? No. You can get more with the if you just make them. Okay, that's what I kind of figured. So you just got to start cultivating some carrots. Hey, what are you doing? Try to sneak up on me.
you like get a seed every time you harvest a carrot or something. Is that how it works? I would like to be able to grow the blueberries to the other berries. Or any plant in the game, I guess. Yeah, no copper, huh? Oh, my axe broke. There's too many of these fuckers. <gasps> Is that it? I thought I saw it shining. Only one really good vein, it seems like. At that up to there at least. Get up the rock! That rock I hit before. And here we are, back in the meadow. Ish. Who'd eat another bite? There we go. A lot of blueberries. Oh, wow. Look at all the raspberries. Holy fuck. I know. We got no way of fighting you. Hand to hand combat. Please, sir. Lots of boars, holy fuck. Got like a whole army of things behind me. Please, fellas, one at a time. Yeah, you could rebuild it. You could take it over. Do whatever you want with it. It's probably really good for leveling bow. Just to shoot a bunch of arrows like that. Pause it what we can here. I need to get some tin. Yeah, not bad at all. Probably go get some more stuff if I wanted to. I don't need shit like that either. close. Like 
pigs to the slaughter. Dead seagull. <gasps> he didn't even know. Looking for a little tin. Ooh, wasted shot. Wasted shots! Really, dude, boobs? You'll get the hang of it. You're pretty good at building things. I guess it doesn't have to be symmetrical either. Does the tin, like, not respawn? Is that the deal? Some of this shit? Is that tin? No, that's just stone. Pick is gonna break anyways. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. I thought the tin would since the flint does, but. Perhaps not. I guess we got a lot of it over here. Just picking up the stones is better than nothing. Yeah, I didn't think we went this far up the coast for it, but maybe we did. Maybe. That's all. Okay. Strip the land of its resources. Yeah, the water is amazing in this game. I'd say I like it almost just as much as I like the water in Sea of Thieves. Something like that. There's some. Right? Nope. I thought that was tin. It looked like it. There's some. Yeah, I'm trying to build the carve right now. That's why I'm harvesting tin and copper. <clears throat> I need some bronze nails and stuff. What are these like blue sprites sometimes? Just nothing, just for flavor. There's some. Some big boys over there. They're not happy about me being here. Ooh, that was like right over his head. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, this bow is actually... Um, the drop on the crude bow is so bad, I'm almost not used to it. The better bow yet.
Yeah, this game's fine solo. It's great with people too, though. I think you'll find, you know, unless you have like a billion friends who are playing this right now, you're going to be playing by yourself probably at some point anyways. So you may as well get used to it. At least I have. It's pretty fun regardless. Get out of here, pig head. What else should I drop? A little bit of stone. Actually, you know what? My home away from home is right here. Just drop off stuff there. The vacation home. It's right over across the bend. Yeah, the thistle is good for sausage later. You need like four. They're useful. Sorry, I can't kill you guys right now. Hey, it's my summer home. Someone left the light on for me. I didn't put that there. Paul must have done that. Oh, there's a bunch of tin in here. Nice. I am Turok. Oh, yeah. Someone was definitely working here. Wait, can you have multiple beds? Oh, it's not my spawn point. It's one of my beds, though. Was there copper in there, too? Damn. Oh, yeah. At least we know it's all here. We gotta go all the way back to here, though. Boom. Some thistle. Way easier to find at night. Like glows. It would seem. Hey, we'll get back, bring this stuff back, start some smelting, come back at that copper vein. We should be all set to get the, uh, the carve at that point. Where am I? I have to mark myself. We have enough skins, we don't have enough fine wood, but we can do that pretty easily. I chopped up a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of Burke trees. Birch trees? Burke trees? William Birkin trees. So I should have some fine wood. Hmm. 
This is where I dropped off some stuff, too. Mushrooms are always good to grab, too, it seems like. I love how you can see the red and green eyes in the distance sometimes. Spooky tree guy. I can't fight you. Sorry. Shunt. Is this where I left some stuff? No. Take it back. Yeah, I've seen the werewolf a few times. He's a bastard. Actually, no, I haven't had any contact with him. I just saw him. He didn't try to kill me. He was just hanging out with a bunch of wolves. Enter all. There's the road. We made it back. Oh, there's a green guy. Listen, buddy. I gotta go. You wait there. Don't do that. Be doing that. Tree beard. Go back home. Do not follow. We put some torches on this road and stuff like that. It'll be like real road. Amazing. Uh-oh. I didn't account for this. Some guy just blocking my way. Lead them right to ya. Wagon's getting a little beat up. Ooh, that's off. Now you better run. Highway men. It's trying to pollinate me. I want that. Now I'm carrying too much. That was the last thing. Oh, the lighthouse fire went out. Get in. No, it didn't work. <laughs> There, you can flash wave. It works.
Oh, I put all the resin away. Wow, you guys are really annoying. Actually, did he give me the resin I need? Jesus Christ. You can, but you'd need to, like, finagle it the right way. It's going to be a pain. I only have one resin. Should probably load it up. Plus, it's not supposed to be like a permanent one. This guy's about to attack my bees. I didn't fucking think about it. So annoying. I think the four resin in the torch last like almost like 10 days, so. Oh, come on, stamina is so fucking annoying sometimes. Mm -mm -mm. So that'll last for a while, basically. And then. Collect all the wood. Carrying too much, of course. There we go. Barrel, did you set up a bed in the fort? I'm gonna go to sleep so we can make the day turn to night. It actually already is day. Yeah. I'm gonna get the resting. Why can't I sleep? Can you just not sleep when it's day? Is that what it is? If it's too late? In the morning or whatever? Bees are happy. Is this like damaged? No. <clears throat> Look at that lighthouse, it looks great. these fucking carts out, I guess.
load up. Oh, you can go inside the troll's head. Crazy. Rocks, rocks everywhere. I don't understand these piles of woodwork. Exactly. Fill that up. Yeah, what's up, Avenger? How you doing? Thank you for that 30 months. Damn. A long time. Really appreciate that. We're doing well. Whoa, whoa! Did I just discover auto run? Q is auto walk. What? That changes everything. Yeah, I didn't check the findings. Yeah, we have, a, we have, like, so much snow, it makes me sick to think about it right now, dude. Feel ya. Rain again? Damn. Rain's a lot. Yeah, there's supposed to be like more this week here too. Snows.
need all this here. Need to shove some more wood in that furnace. I wish you could just shove the wood into the goddamn smelter. Instead of the kiln first. Coming down. I don't need pants on. Weird. Strange. Make some more arrows. Carrot seeds. Bunch of wood. Let me take all this out of there. Take that. I'll drop all this leather off in here. Oh, I can make flint arrows. It doesn't have the upgraded workshop here. Got a lot of leather scraps. Holy fuck. I think we might have enough to make the boat now. Go make those arrows. Make a bunch of arrows. Out of wood. Probably can never have too many of these. I don't see why not. Just make a shitload. What? Am I out of wood for it already? I didn't take the right wood. I took all the other wood. Queue up a few of these. Well, that should be enough for a while. Drop off these extra ones. Almost two stacks. Extra.
don't think we need any of that. Something just like beating up the house, doesn't it? Well, I thought I heard something going down. So this is just all normal wood. Some core wood, some fine wood. Then we'll just put all the uh, special wood in this one, I guess. There we go. I think we got all we need. Oh, I got all these dandelions. All right, let's make some bronze. There we go. Make some nails. other stuff in there. Pretty good. We got a little extra. Two copper. Yeah, we definitely need way more, though. for the boat. Whoa. Deer hide, fine wood, bronze nails. that deer head. There it is. Took a, took a shot. How the fuck does this work? Getting all the pits out of the road, nice. How do I like put the sails down? Only has that much storage? Damn. 
Wait, how do you put the sails down? W to drop the sails. Like while you're using the rudder. Weird. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Glad to hope! So D is to take it away. W is to unfurl. I don't really quite understand the rudder yet. Wind is behind us. I think I kind of get it. So when you're like that, you're going straight, left, right. Oh, shit. This is sick. Boom. Put on the sails. He won't unfurl him. Oh, I didn't even look at the boat over on the side there. Boom. Oh, yeah, is that actually a mod? Oh, you have to like double click it sometimes. Weird. Why is it like red? Oh, that's a speed. Okay. So I'm confused. Is the sails always facing? Like, how do you control which way the sails face? You don't. The, the sails face the window automatically. Okay. That clears that up. So you want to put that all the way up. Okay. I'm kind of understanding. The music starts when you actually like get the, the wind in them. The sails the right way. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Is it ocean biome only? I thought it seemed like when you're going quick. 
the land over there. I've had a few dungeons, I think. What if a giant hand just reached out of the water, crushed the ship, or you look down and an eyeball opened up? Pretty intense. I hope there's sea monsters later on. That'd be awesome. Like a giant snake just comes out of the water. Oh yeah, there's like a house over there. What the heck? Dark forest, looks like. It's so cool, like, crossing the ocean and seeing another island. It's so cool. Do the days matter anyway? Just keep a track of how long you've been playing, I guess. Maybe it unlocks certain things in certain days, difficulty-wise. Also, you can go to sleep. So waking up and going to bed are kind of mechanics in the game that uh, you can kind of follow along with. You don't have to go to sleep and stuff, though. Then when you get to the edge of the world, who knows? I don't know. I'd like to find out eventually. Ooh. Yeah, it might make, like, certain enemies attack your house or something like that. Oh, too far to that side. I mean, you could really build a giant bridge, I think, too. Uh, maybe not. Across, like, the ocean. You'd need to be hitting the bottom in some way, too. So awesome. Choppy waters. If it was shallow enough, you could, I guess, but then it's not really an ocean. But you can build across like rivers. And what? scared the fuck out of me. I thought something was attacking me. What was we like, too deep? Like, hitting waves? The hand emerges. Look at that guy. Trying to think of what Looney Tunes cartoon it was where it was like. Maybe it was actually Rocco's Modern Life where they're at the beach and the waves are actually like a hand beating the ocean. I just had like a slight recollection of that image. I don't know what it was though. Yo, Cole, this is the raid, man. Hope you're doing well. We had a good stream. Sailing the ocean right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make my way back there now. So this is like your basic boat for now, but there is a bigger one you can make. That I imagine goes any even faster than this. But we need iron for it. Which is tricky. So for iron, we need to go to the swamp, clear out those crypts. 
And there's like sludge you have to harvest. But I haven't seen a swamp yet in this server. Too close. Oh, dude, he tried to get in. But uh Really beach fish after a storm? That's sick. One time I jumped on a fish and he died and I like took it back with me. It was the first only fish I've ever found so far. So I want to get the, the fishing pole. Look at the sky. Whoa. A little laggy. Oh. Uh oh. A little choppy there. Yeah, this is pretty satisfying. After running around for like 20 hours. Chopping up rocks and shit. And look how much more there is to explore. It's been fucking crazy. Yeah, this might even be faster than using the road in some ways. Uh-oh, sandbar. Ah! Let's take her home. Patch it up. Maybe I should... Nah, I don't think we have enough wood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, there was like wet airboard for a second there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get fucking abandoned in this this new land here. The Vikings that burn their ships so they can't return home. Oh no, we just like went underwater. So this is not really for o open oceans, is it? This is really for like staying on the coast. I'm gonna hit that rock, aren't I? No! Oh, that was close. I thought we were going right for it. It seems like it got beat up by the ocean a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess you could go to another world and fix yourself that way. Get enough supplies to go back. Or start a new world with your like stronger character. I don't know if you can just repair the ship. I don't know. I think you need a workbench probably. I don't think the wind is doing me any favors right now. Turn off the uh, UI. What? That's so cool, dude. To repair it, though, do you need to have like the fine wooden stuff on you? Or is it just normal wood? Probably the coolest scene in American Gods, the show, was uh, they're showing the Vikings landing in America. Like, you know, America the Red or whatever. We were talking about this earlier. And uh, they get off the boat. And it's like almost comical, but they just get hit with like hundreds of arrows. 
Which kind of reminds me of some of this. It's just a workbench. It doesn't even need anything else. All right, that's good. Look at that little island with the deer on it and stuff. There's a house over there. Turn this UI back in. I keep thinking about that show a lot, or the book, rather, because, uh, I don't know. It's neat seeing Odin in modern, modern times. Trying to parlay with other gods and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. I kind of got a cabin fever right now, anyway, so... It would be good. Yeah, there's another Norse mythology book he wrote that I have that I haven't touched before. Around here somewhere. There's the house. need to make the bigger boat now. Definitely. There's like a log floating around out here. Yeah, some Viking thing. I bet he did. Park this thing. Yeah, that lighthouse is so cool. Actually, I could just park this in this uh, little inlet. Uh, we're going a little too quick. Perfect. Get it in there a little bit more. Sick, dude. Perfect. A little driveway. A waterway. Hello from your private VR movie theater. Nice. VR is pretty cool for that. Valheim is pretty cinematic for a movie theater. Ba -da 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 -da. Stop doing that. Hey, right, well, next. got all the copper still we gotta get. We did the elder. Hmm. I guess we're gonna be looking for more dungeons to do and stuff like that. Gotta find that merchant too. Hey, what's up, Black Knight? How you doing? I think I'll go check out this little band of area here that we haven't even gone through. I think there's winter or mountain area over there as well. As well. I wonder if it would be quicker to take the boat. Honestly, the boat was so fast, but nah. 
We just need some food. Take like turn that stack. The mushrooms are pretty decent for not being cooked. What's up, Hedgehog? Are you doing? Yeah, the hall's holding up. The moat and belly. Mott and belly. Dude, you could! You could make, like, a channel! We could make, like, a fucking canal. It would be... quite an engineering feat, but you could! Thanks, John. It wasn't just me, uh, Sphinx did a little bit of it, Cole. Uh, Sonic. We can give you the- I'll give you the password in the server info if you wanna... Check out the island and stuff. I'll send it to you. Later on. This is a dedicated server I rented, so it's just up all the time. It only is 10 people max, so I wish you could get more people on it at once. Like, I started building that house, and then Sphinx and Cole really went sick on it. Came out really neat. Is that what you did, Cole? You added uh, the roof and the mug and stuff? Yeah, that was a nice touch. A canal. Whoa, I didn't even see this village up here. When did you do that, Cole? Because I feel like I went on and it was not like that. And then I came back and it was done and I checked and no one had been online. I was like, what the fuck? I love these abandoned villages. It would be neat, though, if you found an island and there was actually, like, a bunch of NPCs living on it. Like, just... Because it feels so isolated otherwise. Like, there's no other people. It would be neat to see, like, a shitload of NPCs in one area. I guess that would probably kill the performance, though. Like a little city or town on certain islands. Or even like an island of the gods, like the Valnor. And like, uh... Lord of the Rings and stuff. <laughs> no, not yet. But Max. Yeah, the berry bush, like, the fact that they look like they're, uh, you know, the villages have set up a little basis of agriculture. Like, it seems to imply that you could do that, but as far as I know, you can only do it with the carrots, right? You can only grow carrots. But the way they're set up in, like, a little orchard it looks like you could do it yourself. I don't know. All right, I'll check it out later, Cole. I'll check it out. I saw a few other random upgrades around the house, which look pretty good. Also, this winter area is right next to the meadow. It's kind of weird. What? There's a whole mountain area up here? Look at the bloom. It's insane. You fixed the tower? Oh yeah, the fire went out. I just meandered my way up there and lit it again. What do we have here? What do we have here? Long ages passed when the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down the Vanar. Have I read this one before? I feel like I've seen it. When they tread the earth, the lesser creatures jump like crumbs in a drum so you can know them when you see them. 
He's just talking about the trolls, isn't he? I think. I kind of want to see what the hell's up there. That's okay. The road's in pretty good shape. You can keep working on it if you want. There's some, like, leather armor upstairs, too, if you don't have the armor yet. Make some, like, troll armor, too, I think. Yeah. It's, like, the very, like, uh, calming track. Like the home base track they use to like make you feel like you're safe. Look at that. Does it hurt? <gasps> Dogs. Please, no! I have no health! Sir, please! Oh, that fucking gray dwarf took the hit for me. Bless him. Ah! Oh! Fuck! They're on the loose! Yeah, of course I had, like, no health, too. Well. Learn my lesson. Ba -da -da -da. At least I wasn't. That ah, was pretty far. Yeah, that was like. I don't know how much damage it was, but it was at least 33 or whatever. Yeah, I just gotta hug the coast. It's cool that there's enemies that strong in the starting area, though. Yeah, it didn't really seem like they de aggroed either. Like, the troll will, like, sometimes just get bored of chasing you and walk away. Yeah, the seagulls clip through everything. I love these little rivers. Like, this is my favorite area in the game. This really reminds me of World of Warcraft. For some reason. Maybe just the low poly. It reminds me of the area between Elwyn Forest and like Dark Shore. What the hell was that? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. It even makes me want to even, like, dip into some classic WoW, but I'm good. World of Horror bosses. Dude, giant sea monsters would be amazing. Like, giant sea serpents. It'd be spooky as fuck. If you're out in the boat and all of a sudden just get wrapped up by a big snake. And then when you die in the ocean, you're anything you have on you is just gone. I don't think you can it just sinks to the bottom of the ocean.
Yeah, Yagathog. Would be a good boss. There's a lot of giant scary monsters in Norse mythology. I think even isn't it the world snake what's like at the edge of the world? Like just encircling the entire world. Oh, your grave floats in the ocean. Oh, okay. I thought it just went to the bottom. Yeah, like deep, deep open ocean. Need more bees, but... Ouroboros. I thought it, the world snake was like Yarmandor or something like that. Jormandor. Yeah, I feel like there has to be some kind of sea monster. With all the animals there are on the the land, that would be more. There's got to be something in the water, right? Jormandor. All right, so it's safe to assume all this north of me is probably the mountains. But maybe in that other eastern part, there's a trader or something. Maybe who knows? Who knows? Where's my stuff? I think this is where we got chased. Hey. No, he's still here! Yo, Sonic! Come kill this fucking wolf! It's an invasive species! We need to wipe it out! He was just like running around killing deer. He has no natural predator in this ecosystem. You need to kill it. <laughs> Is Ouroboros from Norse mythology? I thought that was something else entirely. Come kill this wolf. Ba -da 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 -da. I used to be really, really into mythology when I was a kid. Like that was all I read about was like Greek gods and stuff for like a whole year when I was like in third grade. It was because of the Illusion of Gaia, the Super Nintendo game. I don't know if anyone's ever played that, uh, with the, all the, the wonders of the world, the ancient wonders of the world. It got me really into, uh, like, ancient societies and stuff, and, um, the Tower of Babel. What the hell is that out in the water? Oh, it's a moon. Did you kill him, or is he still floating around here? Yeah. Anger Watts. Hang gardens of Babylon. What do you mean? They can see fine. They can see fine. Illusion of Guy was such a cool game. A weird game, but a fun one. Oh, he's here! 
Sonic! Ah! Damn, he did that much damage to you? Oh, I got some new mats. A pelt of shaggy fur. There's all this stuff over here from killing things. So, someone said you could tame the wolf later on, like have a wolf as your pet. Now, I've never played Terranigma, but I've watched people play it. I watched Hootie play it one time. One of these days, I'll play it. I like the music from Terranigma. This is. I need some stand. Um, probably not right now, Dupus, but I'll throw you the pass later on. I have to give you instructions on how to connect too, because it's kind of a pain in the ass. For some reason, the dedicated server... You have to use the Steam server browser. It's been confusing for some people. It does work. I've been using it. Da -da -da -da. This is a cool area. If you see any copper, too, let me know because I need to mark it. Well, I mean, I can connect to it. Here's some copper. Through the server browser, so it must work somehow. I would assume... Get out of here. Yeah, the problem is there's only 10 slots per server, and then when you get up to like 9, 10 people, the server starts not behaving, apparently. I just bit my cheek. What are these? Pine saplings. Mm. Didn't see a lot of crazy copper or anything. It'd be nice if the trader was over here, though. I'm afraid that like a wolf is gonna run out of nowhere and assassinate me. Ba -da 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 -da. That one vein of copper goes deep. Well, I've got two untapped veins now, so a fair amount of copper. A lot of boys over here. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Fucking gang's all here. You need that one weapon that does a spin attack for these situations. It's really good. Oh, 
Sonic, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. You wanna protect me? Yep. <clears throat> I'm back. Thank you for sitting through that BRB for a little bit. <laughs> Sonic, what are you saying, Sonic? What, do you want me to get lit on fire? Swamp monsters raiding the base? Oh, fuck. I wonder what the quickest way to get back is. Ba -da -da -da. How could there be fucking swamp monsters already? When did that start happening? Jesus Christ. Well, this is a convenient little ledge that we can run on at least, right? Hopefully it doesn't get too close to the fucking snow. <clears throat> Swamp Thing! You make my heart sing! That used to be my favorite song when I was a kid. No joke. Oh. What the hell's that? Because there is a cartoon version of Swamp Thing. I am Turok. I don't know if anyone ever saw it. There was a cartoon. It was like G.I. Joe tier Swamp Thing. There's like toys and stuff. It was awesome. I had a VHS of it. I'd watched it like every day for many years, I remember. And it had that song in it. And it was like, what was the original song? Wild Thing. Right? Well, they changed it for Swamp Thing. It's a good idea. What? Well, I can't not think of Swamp Thing now when I hear that song. Swamp Thing. You make my heart sing. I don't know if they changed any of the lyrics, though, other than that. And then there was, like, an actual movie for Swamp Thing, wasn't there? Like, a horror movie? Ba -da -da -da. Did the base get fucked up at all? I don't know. I thought you were there. Well, now we gotta go check on it. It's a weird little canyon here. Isn't that strange? Kind of cool, though. The creature from the Black Lagoon, yeah. What was the creature? Like, what did he really do that was so bad, though? Didn't he just, like, take people? Like, I mean, that was bad. Taking people's bad. Don't get me wrong. But he was just taking, like, one person at a time. Ugh. What about another monster? Like, like Godzilla's, like, wrecking a whole city. Yeah, he kidnapped a lady. I mean, there's 
people that are worse than that out there. Yeah, I just seem to remember a picture of him with like a bikini clad woman strung over his back as he fled into the water. But then she became like his wife, didn't she? Maybe I'm thinking of the Venture Brothers. I don't know. Um, the base looks okay. The front of it. Boat. We look good. I think the frames are getting a little choppy. Is it just me? That's good. All right, good job, Cole. Hmm. Well, I think they like played it up. Like they were in cahoots the entire time. All right, well, let's go uh, explore more. It was in Florida. Like, back to what I was talking about earlier about the mythology, being really into mythology and stuff like that when I was younger. I remember uh, a series of books, like, at the library. The ancient place known as the library. They were the Universal Monster books. They were orange. They were orange hardcover books, and they all were, like, basically a picture book version of the black and white Universal Monster movies. And it told the story of, like, you know... The Black Lagoon, uh, King Kong, Werewolf, Frankenstein vs. Werewolf, uh, Wolfman, rather, and, uh, I don't know, just a bunch of shit like that. Probably find a copy of it if I looked on it in Google. And, um... <clears throat> the one for the creature from the Black Lagoon was, like, always there. Like, no one ever wanted to read that one. So I always ended up taking it out of the library. So I read that one a bunch. Oh yeah, the new Nick Cage thing. Dude, there's a new Nick Cage show on Netflix. Has anyone watched that? About It's like the history of swears or something like that? Would Nick Cage need like a new wardrobe? Some new sick leather coats. If you want to see something funny, just go to Google and type in Nicolas Cage leather coats, leather jackets. He has like 700 different leather jackets. I mean, I'd probably buy the same thing, honestly. Some pictures came out the other day, actually, of Nicolas Cage in the, um... He was, like, cast as Superman originally in some Superman movie. That got cancelled, I think. And there were some frames of him as Superman. <laughs> Imagine Nicolas Cage as Superman. kind of funny the frames look okay on OBS I'm looking over but on my computer it's like a little choppy right now for some reason I wonder if I have the frames like uncapped no can't really change that a little choppy looking those are mock-ups oh okay it's still funny either way I thought that he actually like was on set or something like that. I thought that's what that implied. So this whole patch right here I haven't explored. He could be in there, maybe. 
Either way, more copper to mark. Mark off. And then this is mountain over here? This is a very small mountain area, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just my monitor. You know, this nice little house on the hill. There's not much in here. The bees! Speaking of Nicolas Cage, yeah. Weird. S strange. Again, we were talking about everything old is new again. Nicolas Cage has made such a comeback. You know, and I don't mean his old porn name, like, um, the color of space was amazing. Oh, Mandy was great. Yeah, Mandy. What else? I feel like there's something else I missed. He's been in a few different things recently. You know what was bizarre that he was in that I just remembered? Uh, the Weatherman from the 2000s. Do you remember that movie? Does anyone remember The Weatherman where he like just sh he had a bow for some reason? He just liked to shoot a bow. That was a weird one. Why do we have these on me? Drop some of this off. Boom, 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 boom. I barely remember it. I just remember he had a bow and he was like shooting a bow and arrow. I like that there's these little like hidden villages. It's so cool. There's snow up there. There'll be snow there. Hey. I was kind of hoping there was BB... Oh, uh, my God. I just forgot how to talk for a second. I was kind of hoping there would be more mini bosses. Like a big boar you have to fight would be kind of cool. Like a Princess Mononoke boar god you have to fight. Yeah, I just remember the bow, too. I think it was like a depressing movie for some reason. There's something sad, like someone was sick. Yeah, like, uh, just like a big boar. A couple, like, wild animals that just, like, fucking hate you. I guess that wolf did just kill me, so, uh, there's that. Is that and those guys, those big trees? We're we just brushing up with the winter biome here. Tower. empty they're moving in
Yeah, like maybe they could drop something. Or even just like money or something like that. Gold or a jewel. Actually, I need to find wood. That's normal wood. Drop the normal wood. Hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this? What? Someone like build this? What if I hide? They leave. Yeah, I know there's pre-generated buildings, but it was weird. I've never seen one with a workbench before and like a roof like that. It's bizarre. It's very rare. Yeah, look at this mountain range right here. That's so cool. Seriously, it was like Nemesis walking around. Mr. X. Stalking. Oh, a cave. There be skeletons here. This is a big rock. Damn. Big rock. Wonder if you could like live in that. Uh, damn it! Picked up too many things. Fuck! I'm gonna drop these raspberries. Ow! Hey, copper. All right, buddy. I'm gonna have to kill you. Fuck off. Damn it. Can't be dying to you here. end a little quicker. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, it's fun even solo. I mean, I've been playing mostly solo, so. But it's fun with people too. When that happens, when you get that little halo, there's that little splash of light. What does that mean? You just got like a skill up or something like that? Or you're like got points towards it? Let's see. What 
what I figured, but I love how this just drops off. The side of the island is so much different than the uh, the other side of the island. Like the sheer cliff drops and stuff. I-53. Still exploring the island. Wow. I actually don't need your bullshit right now. If you kindly fuck off. Be good. If there's any more mountains over here. Oh, that was the building I BRB'd in. Should have gone over there. When I was seeking refuge. Oh yeah, there's the mountains. So this mountain range is goes like all the way around. What do you get in the mountain range? Like, is there anything in particular you need there? Oh, what's that? Oh, this is a neat area. There's like a sign. This is a pretty big rune village. Dragon eggs. bed. Two beds. Ow. Ow. Let me get that queen bee. That was just like a little tiny snow area. Weird. Oh no, there's more. These snow areas are pretty small though. Look at all these carrot seeds. Useful. No, I don't think there's seasons. There's the weather is pretty dynamic though. It's awesome. Heard. Bird is the word. That mist just kind of like in that pocket there. You guys better leave me alone. Be cool if you could just like shuffle up one of these trees too and see like everything around. Like a lumberjack. Or make like a little tree house.
that copper? It is. There's a bunch more biomes, apparently. There's like a plains biome, a swamp biome. There's like a mushroom land, possibly. There's random blocks. Oh, there's a chest under it. Huh. More copper. Wow, right within like... 20 feet of each other. Oh, carrot. This is a good spot for copper, shit. You have to just come over on the boat from the other side. This is the other side of that village. I think if I'm sharing my location, it shares the locations I have marked too, dude boobs. I'm not sure. Does anyone know? Oh my god, more copper. Copper rich over here. Ah! Oh, look at that. I'm here for your bees. What? Oh, give me the bow. Give me your bees. This is all meadows. Another opening? Over here. Okay. Oh, what? A little tower? That's so cool. Yeah, eating random mushrooms is probably bad. But he's a Viking, so uh, they were probably the people that figured out which mushrooms were good to eat and which ones were bad. Also, I'm pretty sure the Vikings to become like the whole berserker thing. Berserker Vikings. Like the term comes from Vikings that ate like a uh, certain kind of mushroom and they didn't feel any pain in combat but they would just like go sick what's the name of the mushroom it's a red cap with like uh, little white dots on it berserker mushroom Amanita Amanata They would just munch some of those down and they would just fucking get their arms cut off and still keep going. Zerk shrooms. Yeah, I know. I was looking for some treasure with Josh after he said that, but I didn't find any. I don't know if like just a chest is worth it or not. If there's like some sick treasure buried there, that would be cool, but I don't know. If it's like just a chest, I don't think it's worth it. I dug up another one too. I didn't find anything. Ba -da -da -da. What's up, fellas? Just taking your treasures. Don't mind me.
Yeah, bigger dungeons with better loot would be great. Even just like random stuff. Because you could use anything in the game. Like depending on what you want. Ooh. Wow, that's a big one. Ah, he fell. <gasps> oh, shit. That's a cool spot down there. That looks fucking awesome. It should be a cool place to build like a little house. Cliff side house. The world tree? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe? Um. Troll cave? Oh, this rock looks like a face for a second, doesn't it? Big nose, mouth, eyes. It looks like a Muppet. I like these like random little mountains and hills. We gotta check out all this right here. <gasps> Another big boy. What's he doing out here? Looks like he's like taking a shit. What are you doing over there, fella? I didn't mean to bother you. You go on your way there. Copper. That was him. Whoa, major lag. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is dark forest and how much of this is, is uh, meadow. Looks like there's a crypt up there.
At least there's a lot of dungeons here to do. I guess they're not really dungeons, but... I kind of doubt that the traders here. Is there another one over here? Shit. The troll cave. I'm not going to mark that. Yeah, I don't think the traders here. Another skeleton? Another meadow area. Pretty wide open, though. Ooh, more copper. That's just how they do, I guess. I think some of it is like a hay, like a... Like a makeshift pants that they made for themselves. I don't know if that's a troll or not. Yeah, that's a troll cave. He's a troll cave. Ow. Skeleton homies. Be cool if you could, like, learn some magic to be a necromancer and control some skeletons. Send them out to do your bidding. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, nothing like major. The major here. Looks like copper. No. Whoa. Another crypt. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I thought I had more health. Holy shit, I got like no health. I am Turok. I had more. Yeah, nothing too wild. Back in the meadows. I was hoping there would be a merchant, maybe, just chilling. Merchant man. Or copper. Lots of copper on this side of the map compared to the other side. Holy shit. What's that? Billies. What the fuck? There's so much compared to where I built that road to. Yeah, sharing map progress would be good. This is very time consuming. You would think if one person had it, it would make sense to be able to share it, but. Back into the meadows, huh? Is 
Da -da. Oh my god, I came to the wrong fucking neighborhood. Another little village. Wow, there's a lot of buildings in this one. <laughs> oh my god, look at them. I don't have time for you. Hey. Can you knock down random structures for resources? Yep. So you could like take an axe and chop that shit down if you wanted to. If you felt so inclined. And just recycled it. <sighs> Nothing, huh? Nothing over here, Luigi. Yeah. Hmm. Here's where the deer god is. Let's see if there's anything in this band over here. Have I sailed to the other lands yet? I sailed over here. It's my next thing. I'm just doing more sailing. I was just filling out the map a little bit just now. Does this connect with my... No, this is way too far away. Yeah, dude, there's much islands. Yeah, it's huge. Gotta zoom out. It's like Terraria. You have to make portals and stuff like that because there's so much area to cover. Pretty much Terraria. Nah, no horses yet, as far as I know. Boats and running are your your main ways of traveling. Just got to say. Yeah, I already read that. I already read that one. In the industrial era. I mean, you could probably replicate it pretty well, depending on how ambitious you are. With the game. Hmm. 
In the FAQ, they said they don't think they're going to be adding mods. Or officially supporting them. Which is fine. But yeah, it's still not even out of early access. I bit the inside of my lips so bad. Hurts like motherfucker. Yeah, let's get down to the bottom of this fucking hill. That's it. That's the whole island. Pretty much ran around the entire thing. I'm assuming there's way more copper up here. Especially at the home away from home. I just didn't find it yet. Yeah, you'd have to be pretty tech savvy, I guess, though. It's as fine as is right now, though, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe after I, like, see all the content, I'd be interested, but. You feel cold. We have one portal. I haven't created any others yet. I'm going to, though. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Are there any dungeons in the mountains at all? Or anything like that? Like, the stuff you're killing right now, Sonic, that stuff respawns, right? Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Maybe don't do it here then, Sonic, because I'd like to do it for myself. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up there for now anyways. This is about four and a half hours. It's a pretty long stream. I'm going to go have some dinner and do some other things, but I'll probably be back later on, if not tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it, as always. Um, Thank you for all the subs and resubs. And thank you for chilling and talking and all that. I'll be back later on, I think. Uh, you guys have a good rest of your evening. I'm going to go get some foods. Have a good one, everybody.